The United States women's national team under new broom Emma Hazer to wins from a record-extending fifth Olympic gold medal. After a Trinity Rodman wonder strike in extra time broke open a tightly contested quarterfinal with Japan that failed to catch fire until the final reel. The women's football tournament at these Paris games should at least begin to determine whether the Americans' torpid 46-month run under the departed Vladko Andonovsky will be remembered merely as a flop period or as a practically salivating global football establishment have openly manifested a permanent regression from the class of perennial favorite. The jury remains out but early returns are promising. Hayes, the former Chelsea manager who took the reins two months ago, has guided the US to four wins in her first four meaningful games. Held to only four goals in as many contests during last year's World Cup washout, the Americans smashed in nine on a perfect run through the Olympic group stage. The wait for a tenth on Saturday afternoon was an often uncomfortable one, but its arrival has brought Hayes' squad within touching distance of the podium. The opening half did in fact happen, a dour affair that saw the US dominate possession but remain unable to generate meaningful chances against Japan's well-organized block, playing behind a friendly crowd that broke into chants of USA. Every few minutes, the Americans took a more thoughtful approach instead of just ramming it down the park as they might have in the not-so-distant past. But their patience was nearly punished twice in the 10 minutes before the intermission as Japan created to moments of genuine danger through Kiko Seek and Miyabi Moria. At that point, signs of fatigue among the US attackers, none more than Rodman, were putting Hayes' decision not to rotate players during the condensed group stage into a harsh glare. Elsewhere on the pitch the captain, Lindsay Horan, a one-time Paris Saint-Germain midfielder back on familiar ground, was a step slow. Corbin Albert, Hayes won change from Wednesday's win over Australia, was ineffective even before staying on through a knee injury near the end of regular time. It didn't get much better after the intermission. By the hour the US looked even more lackluster and bereft of attacking ideas while the Nade Shiko despite a lack of genuine scoring opportunities, seemed more likely to break through. They received an immediate boost when West Ham's Riko Ueki came on for Mina Tanaka after 70 minutes, putting a shot directly across the mouth of the goal, inches outside the post. The Japan manager, Futoshi Ikeda, had long since introduced three substitutions by the time Hayes made her first switch ahead of extra time with Lynn Williams, the all-time WSL goal scorer, coming on for Mallory Swanson. By then exhaustion on both sides was leading to defensive lapses, most notably when the Japanese keeper, Iaka Yamashita, was forced to make a point-blank save after Smith took one touch too much many. The Americans desperately needed a moment of inspiration to avoid a penalty shootout and they got it in the dying moments of the first extra time period from Rodman, who ran into space behind Japan's high press onto a long pass from Crystal Dunn cut back across to her left to beat left-back Haikaru Kitagawa and curled a left-footed thunderbolt into the top corner past the fully extended Yamashita for her third goal of the tournament. Now it was the Americans' turn to sit back in a block and kill off the game and, after a mostly straightforward quarter hour, Hayes' team could fate their progress to the last four before a rollicking crowd that included former USA stars Megan Rapinoe and Mia Hamm and the rapper Snoop Dogg. The US advanced to the semifinals, where they will face the winner of Saturday night's quarterfinal between Germany and Canada in Marseille.